Happy birthday, Maggie! That's Open one it. of them. What do you think? It's perfect size, right? Yeah. I'll try to carry him. It's it's still twenty some pounds, guys. Easier to lift than the other one? Yeah. You wanna try it out? Yeah. Okay, Maggie's birthday present. Cool. First try. My daughter's quarantine birthday had its highs and its lows. Getting the Gotway M103 electric unicycle was certainly a high on her special day. And at the end of the video, I'll share with you her quarantine birthday lows. Let's jump into my thoughts on the Gotway M103, which is a fun and super portable little ripper. As far as hands-free personal electric mobility devices go, I don't think there's anything on the market that's as fun, useful, and portable. I wish I had footage to share with you, but while we were on vacation in the Black Hills of South Dakota, we went for a hike. I had my M103 in my backpack just in case there'd be an opportunity to ride. And lo and behold, there was an opportunity, and it was wonderful. So who's going to love the Gotway M103? I believe there are three types of people that will enjoy this device. Number one, seasoned riders. Number two, people looking to get into the electric unicycles. And number three, kids. Seasoned riders who already own several wheels will find that the M103 adds a new dimension to their fleet that other wheels cannot offer. It may not be the fastest or go the farthest, and it certainly doesn't have any suspension, but it will be the most portable wheel that you own, and it's super zippy and fun. People looking to get into the hobby of electric unicycles will love this. The M103 is very affordable and there are successful reports in the community of folks learning how to ride an M103 as their first wheel and absolutely loving it. And the third type of people that will enjoy this device, kids. Kids will love it. Both my daughters are raving about this wheel. They love how it feels and how it handles and especially how they're able to carry in and out of the house, up and down stairs, on their own. My daughter Maggie is already asking if she can ride it to school, if they ever go back to school. The one wheel got me interested in electric unicycles, so I'm going to compare the Gotway M103 to what I know most and what I'm most familiar with, the one wheel. In particular, the one wheel pint. The Gotway M103 could be considered the one wheel pint of the EUC world because they both have the same diameter wheel at 10 inches and they both are the smallest in their respective classes. At 22 pounds, the M103 weighs a little less than the one wheel pint, which makes it easier for riders like my grade school aged daughter to lift upstairs and to carry around. The M103's 800 watt motor is more powerful than the 750 watt motors found in both the Pint and the XR. I don't understand all the magic that goes on to make these devices work, but I do notice that the M103's motor groans a bit when going up steepish hills, about the same as my one wheel pipe. One wheel XR over there. We have the Gotway M103 here. And you can see this field is just littered with goose poop. There's just goose poop all over the place. And that's why these Canada geese, they love hanging out here in the winter. This is where they come in the winter to enjoy the nice warm Colorado weather, I guess, relatively speaking. And look at how many there are. You wanna do it? Flight of the geese.
cutoff button is positioned on the front left side of the device near the base of the handle. This is different from my other EUCs which has the cutoff switch on the handle, thus turning off the wheel when lifting it up. Being so small, the M10 III did make some sacrifices. It does not have any speakers to play music. It does not have a trolley handle. Although a trolley handle can be purchased and installed separately, but because it's so easy to carry, I just prefer to pick it up and I'd rather carry it than use a trolley handle. If you're interested in the M10 III, check out my full review on my website, oneradwheel.com. I'm an affiliate with eWheels and a small commission from each sale goes towards supporting my blog and YouTube channel. Like I said at the beginning, this quarantine birthday has had its highs and its lows. As we tried to adhere to strict social distancing at the time, we didn't invite any friends or family over for my daughter's birthday. Maggie understood why we had to do it, but there was a brief moment during a Zoom meeting right before we sang happy birthday to her that tears flowed from her eyes, saddened that she wouldn't be able to spend this day with her friends or extended family. At least it was a memorable one. Happy Happy birthday to you! Before you go, I want to give you some updates with the channel and the family. First off, let me tell you that Daddy Daughter Rides on Electric Rideable Devices, it's pretty awesome. And if you ever have the chance, you should do it. Great bonding time. In other news, our road trip to South Dakota was a success. What a great place to visit. We had a great time and a ton of footage was obtained riding in mountain towns, trails, and around lakes. And I look forward to sharing that with you. I also recently made a video on why now is a good time to sell your one wheel. And I followed my own advice and I sold two of our four one wheels that were not getting used much and needed a better home. Finally, I got my wife riding an electric rideable and I look forward to sharing that experience with you in future videos. Thanks for watching, and remember, make sure to wear your safety gear.